I'm going to continue with Christy Etheridge. As you can see, she's live in the nation's capital. And uh, Christy, I know it's hard for you to hear right now, too, but what do you see? I see sea of people. That's what I see. We're expecting as many as 500,000 people, half a million people to be here in D.C. for this march. And it feels like we're going to reach that number and relatively quickly. Let's see if I can give you a little perspective here. So a lot of people are... Um, just swamping in on Pennsylvania Avenue, coming off the side street there. There's not a whole lot of room. It is, um, it's really crowded already, and the rally's not even supposed to start for another hour. But check this out. You see from, from sidewalk to sidewalk in the middle, it is completely full, and these people are trying to walk down to the Capitol building and reach the stage, which is at the very end. But it has been filling up since about 8 o'clock this morning, so I'm not sure how far they're going to get. In fact, let's walk with them for a little bit just to give you an idea of what it looks like to actually be in this crowd right now. You can only go as fast as the person right in front of you, and everybody is reload, holding huh? signs. We're seeing people, young people, parents, kids, um, a lot of families walking here together. But it's incredible. I think we, uh, we're going to have to wait to see how full it actually is going to get, but I think we're going to reach that half a million mark. The, a lot of people who were here for the Women's March say um, they're kind of comparing it to that, saying back at the Women's March a couple years ago, they could barely walk, um, let alone move and actually march. But the good thing is, even when the performers, excuse me, I'm sorry, even when some the speakers hit stage and when the musical performers are up on stage, they've got these big Screens. Actually, you can see one right down there um, posted up along Pennsylvania Avenue and these huge speakers, which is why it's so loud and so hard to hear. So no matter where you are along the nine blocks along Pennsylvania Avenue, where the march is taking place, you're going to be able to be a part of it. So, you know, we actually caught up with a Stoneman Douglas High School student who came up here to D.C., even though a march is happening in Parkland, Florida, because he felt like it was so important for him to be here. And he is wearing some very special items on his clothing, a pin um, for a, a bandmate uh, who was killed in the shooting and specialized shoes for a friend who was killed in the shooting. Take a listen from him. I have a pin on for my friend Nick Dorrit. Uh, I've known him since I was a year old, probably younger. Uh, and I have shoes on which are uh, dedicated to my friend Alex Schachter. These are the last pair he's wearing. So uh, me and a couple friends got together, we customized them, put his name on them, and made them school colors. Pretty special. He uh, said it was almost indescribable seeing everybody out here, especially when he saw people wearing shirts that say MSD Strong or Douglas Strong, and they don't even go to the school. So he feels overwhelmed, uh, he told me, just by the outpouring of support that his what happened at his school inspired this entire event, which now could make history here in Washington, D.C. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, Christy, thanks a lot.